What's up, guys? This is uh, Mike. I hope you're Diablo Bernard. Um, here just kind of explain what happened a couple weeks ago. You know, when I didn't get the fight. You know, everyone's blaming it on the commission. It um, wasn't exactly their fault. Uh, you know, they did cancel the card or the, the final fight for about 10 or 15 minutes um, due to insurance reasons. But Action Fight League finally was able to process their extended insurance due, you know, up until 12.30, which enabled myself and Keith Johnson to fight. You know, even though for 10 or 15 minutes, you know, I thought that, you know, myself and Keith weren't going to be able to fight, you know, I manned up and I went back into the locker room and, and I started warming up and, and I was ready to go, but this, uh, you know, this guy, Keith Johnson, he's just not a fighter, you know, he, they decided, oh, we're not going to fight because guess what? He was brought in to lose. He knew it. So, you know, I have absolutely no respect for this guy. He's not going to do anything in the sport. So it's no loss on my end from not having to beat him up. Guess what? I probably had to save from not breaking my hand again. Um, you know, so the guy's not going to do anything in the sport. You know, Keith, I'm sorry, but you should probably stay fighting in the minor leagues. For myself, you know, I'm looking for bigger and better things. You know, there was a little bit of rumor of, of something I didn't hear until way after the fight that that Steve Bruno mentioned my name during the post-fight interview. And, um, you know, he didn't exactly call me out, but he made a, maybe two or three excuses why we weren't fighting, which in my book is is um, reasons why you don't want to fight. You know, he said maybe if they pay more money, maybe... Um, if they make a belt that doesn't look like a third grader made it, and you know maybe he's going to end up back in Japan. You know Steve's a good fighter. I have a lot of respect for him. Um, but first of all, it's my belt, and I'm the only one that can make fun of the fact that it looks like a third grader made it because you know it is a piece of shit belt. And the day I got it, I'm like, man, what the hell is this? And this guy wants to make fun of my belt after all the trouble we went through when I was originally supposed to fight him. So, you know, the problem is the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm five and one as a, as a pro, and Steve, you know, he's a tough guy. He's fought in the UFC three times. He was the Spirit MC welterweight champion, um, and now it, it kind of seems like we're having trouble meeting um, in the in the cage. But I'd like to fight Steve. You know, I don't know if he wants to fight me or his team wants him to fight me because it's a tough fight. I think it'd be a good test of my of my skills, you know, being a younger fighter, him being a little more seasoned than me. Um, it, it really put me where, you know, helped me realize where I want to be. Um, so, so Steve, if, if you're watching this, I want to fight you. You know, uh, I just happen to have something here that I took from your from your bag while you were fighting at the Hard Rock, and if you can look at this. Um, it's Steve Bruno's man card. You know, every man has one. Um, and, and it just happened to have yours right here. I took it out of your bag while you're fighting. So I'm going to pull it. And I'm going to put it right on the desk. And I'm going to say, Steve Bruno, we need to fight in November of this year. And, you know, I, I would really like to fight you because I think it will be a challenge of my skills. It will test your skills. Um, and just to let you know, this is the official, like, El Gringo Diablo wants to fight Steve Bruno challenge. Your man card's on the desk, so anytime you want to come and pick it up, it's right here. So come and get it.